If you're building a rig around the Ryzen 5 5600, you'll want a cooler that's affordable, yet keeps temps in check for the long haul. After checking multiple CPU coolers and considering performance, noise, and other features, I've narrowed it down to two picks, the best budget choice and the best overall value. Let's get started with the best budget pick, the Thermalrite Assassin King 120 SE ARGB. Whenever someone is looking for a good budget CPU cooler, Thermalrite almost always happens to be my recommendation. While this brand is known for its high-quality dual-tower CPU coolers and AIOs, the entry-level options are nothing to scoff at either. The Thermalrite Assassin King 120 SE is a single-tower cooler that punches well above its weight, making it a great choice for any budget build. This specific cooler is known as the SE version, and it's an iterative improvement over the original Assassin King 120. Mainly, it adds addressable RGB lighting on the fan, allowing for customizable lighting. An even older and cheaper alternative would be the Assassin X120, but the King 120 SE performs better because of the denser fin stack and larger contact base at the bottom. Design-wise, this cooler doesn't look cheap at all. It weighs around 520 grams and uses an aluminum fin stack and heat pipes. This cooler uses a single tower design, meaning it has a smaller footprint than Thermalrite's beefier options. The coating on both of these components is premium and the copper heat pipes have a direct touch base to make immediate contact with the CPU for better cooling. Other than that, you get a TLC12CS fan with decent RGB lighting, and the fan housing itself features a light grey finish. You can also get this cooler in an all-white design if that's more your style. Out of the box, you get the single 120mm ARGB fan, a tube of Thermalrite TF4 thermal paste, the single tower heatsink with four heat pipes, and mounting hardware for both Intel and AMD. While the included thermal paste is an entry-level addition, it manages to perform well against pricier options like the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut and ID Cooling Frost X25. Apart from the ARGB lighting on the fan, it's nothing inherently special. However, it does provide decent cooling performance with impressively low noise levels. The fan has a maximum speed of 1550 RPM and uses high-quality fluid dynamic bearings for long-term reliability. Like most single-tower coolers, you can install an additional fan at the rear if you can manage to find more mounting clips. Installing the Thermalrite Assassin King 120 SE is a straightforward process for both AMD and Intel platforms. For AMD, the cooler uses the stock backplate, making installation a breeze. Just attach the included mounting brackets, secure the heatsink, and mount the fan. On Intel, the process is just as simple, thanks to the included universal backplate and clear instructions. The mounting system feels solid, and the screws are easy to tighten without excessive force. Performance-wise, this cooler is very surprising. When testing with a Core i7-14700K, it manages to cool an average of 225 watts, which is only 230 watts behind the Noctua NHD15. Considering this cooler costs almost four times less than the NHD15, this is a very impressive result. When testing with more efficient CPUs, like the Ryzen 5 5600, it manages an idle temperature of around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, while maximum temperatures are around 70 at full load. Not bad at all for a budget cooler, and it delivers excellent performance with a low max noise level of 40 to 41 decibels. Even if you enable Precision Boost Overdrive, AMD's smart overclocking feature, this cooler will easily handle CPUs like the 5600, 7600, and any other chip with a 65 watt DDP. In terms of competition, you have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 and the ID Cooling SE 214 XT for around the same price. The ID Cooling and Thermalrite coolers are cheaper and perform better than the Cooler Master, so the real choice is between those two. Realistically, there's little performance difference between the SE 214 XT and the Assassin King 120 SE, but the Thermalrite cooler has better RGB and runs quieter. It's a marginal victory, but Thermalrite is the better option here. In conclusion, there's not much wrong I can find with the CPU cooler. It's obviously not the best for proper overclocking or for more power-hungry CPUs like a 14700K, but it's easily the best budget choice you can make if you have a 65-watt AM4 or AM5 CPU. It's quiet, performs well, and features a clean design with RGB. Not much more I can ask for at this price. 
To sum up, what I like is the surprisingly good performance for the price, the low noise levels compared to most budget coolers, the dirt cheap pricing, and the simple installation process. On the downside, it's not the best for power-hungry Intel chips. For the best value choice, we have the ID Cooling Auraflow X240. AIOs can be a very tricky purchase. If you spend too much, you're likely falling prey to gimmicks that don't add anything to improve performance. If you spend too little, you're likely compromising thermals and overall system performance. There's a fine line between the two, and that's exactly where the ID Cooling Auraflow X240 comes in. Available in both black and white, this 240mm cooler is one of the best AIOs you can buy in terms of pure value. This AIO is an improvement over the original Auraflow 240 non-X. Apart from adding the coolest letter of the alphabet into the name, the X version features improved RGB lighting, enhanced pump design, and improved tubing for better durability. It runs quieter, looks better, and delivers the same excellent performance. Design-wise, you're likely to appreciate what ID cooling has done here to improve the overall appearance of the AIO. The circular pump has a small logo on top of it with a tasteful RGB-lit ring around it, and it doesn't go overboard with the lighting zones. The dual 120mm ARGB fans have plenty of LED lighting zones and a translucent design that boosts the RGB glow. Other than that, the radiator is 27mm thick and connected to the pump with premium nylon-sleeved tubing. The integrated fitting has a 90 degree swivel which allows you to find the right adjustment during installation. On the bottom of the pump, you'll find a milled copper cooling plate with a satin finish, and it has enough surface area to accommodate almost any CPU out there, including Threadripper. Out of the box, you get the 240mm radiator attached to the pump, two 120mm RGB fans, mounting brackets and screws for Intel and AMD, a tube of thermal paste, an RGB splitter and power cable, and an RGB fan controller. As long as your case supports a 240mm cooler, which most cases will, installation is dead simple. The 90 degree swivel fittings allow you to easily adjust the tubes to find the right orientation, and any brackets or screws you might need are included in the box. While installation steps vary for Intel and AMD CPUs, the process itself will take you a maximum of 10 minutes for both. In terms of cooling, the performance is great for an AIO at this price. When paired with something like a Ryzen 5 9600, you can expect temperatures of around 65 degrees Celsius while gaming at full load. Idle temperatures will lie anywhere between 35 and 40 degrees. It also handles higher-end parts like the Intel Core i7 13700K and Ryzen 7 7800X3D surprisingly well. However, the best use case for this AIO is if you're trying to incorporate it with an older CPU, something like a Ryzen 5 5600 or Ryzen 7 5700X. It will deliver rock-solid performance, even with precision boost overdrive enabled, low noise levels, and great looks. Most of the time, your fans will run at 50 to 70 percent speeds, and the noise levels are between 38 to 42 decibels. In those edge cases where you're pushing your system to the limit, the fans ramp up to 1800 RPM and the noise measures in at 48 decibels. While this makes it a bit noisier than single or dual tower air coolers that are around the same price, this result isn't bad for an affordable AIO. The closest alternative to this is the Thermalright Frozen Note ARGB. While the Thermalright cooler is cheaper, ID Cooling offers a refined pump and fans that are optimized for radiator performance. This means you get lower noise levels and potentially better reliability in the long run. Considering it's only a couple of bucks more expensive, the Auraflow X240 is a great choice. In conclusion, the Auraflow X240 is a great addition to your gaming PC build if you prefer the looks of an AIO, but don't want to break the bank. It cools easily a budget CPU like the Ryzen 5 5600, even with precision boost overdrive enabled, and the noise levels never get too loud while gaming. They might get a bit noisier when they're at 100%, but those moments are few and far between for most gamers. For the price, it's an excellent choice. To sum up, what I like is the beautiful pump design with tasteful RGB. The adjustable fittings allow you to rotate tubing. It's very affordable for a 240mm AIO and great performance with most CPUs. On the downside, fans can get noisy at 100% speed.
Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you figure out which is the right CPU cooler for your build. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below. And if you're interested in more PC building suggestions and hardware reviews, be sure to check out more of my videos. Before you go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to stay updated, and let me know your opinion and suggestions in the comments. See you in the next one.